Record. I am recording. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go back to uh, share screen. Brick link. Orange bricks. All right. Ah, there we go. All right, so I, I am looking at Barnes Bricks Bricklink store. A lot of bees. What's a B word for store that you could change? Boutique? No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Um, so Barnes Bricks, aka Dad Bod, asked me to look at his store. And I was a little um, overwhelmed when uh, I first thing I saw. Uh, this this is true. I was I was in bed. I'd gone to bed, and for whatever reason, I couldn't sleep. And I saw the message on Bricklink from Dad Bod, and he said about checking his store out. So I went over there, and it looks different on a phone than it does on, on a computer. Like I'm on a computer right now, <laughs> and when when I looked at it, the first thing I saw was these the Scala sets because it's what's in the the feature page, and I was like. He's got Scala sets. And then I said, oh, wait, he's got a brickyard. He's got trains. And I was, and then I saw the 12,000. And, I, th you know, you're laying in bed. You're half asleep. And I'm like, he's got 12,000 pieces. That's pretty good. And I'm like, no, it's 12,000 lots. And, like, if I'll just go to something like bricks. Bricks are very common. And if you look, it's new, used. New, used new used like he's got 231 new yellow bricks oh those go to tipper trucks those are tipper truck parts wait let me do my wanted list um so it's such a better buying experience and I, it's kind of a this is a sore subject with me and, and i shouldn't get mad but i think some people view having multiple lots of the same part in the same condition as a good thing it's kind of like the guy who uh you're playing golf and I, I do not play golf i have not played golf since 1986 or 87 but anyway i was not very good at golf uh, but it's like the guy who's proud that it took him more strokes to get the ball in the hole than it did than in you because he's like you look like hey i got it in five strokes i made par and he's like well i did it in 25 i got more I'm like no that's not something to be proud of. it's not it's, Having more lots is not something to be proud of. And the, the store that has the most lots on Bricklink is proud of it. But when I do my wanted list like this, it's like 20 one by one yellow <laughs> or one by two yellow bricks. <laughs> and so I, I really got to refine my wanted list because some of these things I actually don't need. I just haven't taken them out of my wanted list. But one by two yellow, those are tipper truck parts. And uh, some of these go to some sets that I'm trying to piece together. Uh, a lot of times I take them out of my store, but this is the other thing I saw. So, okay, he's got tipper truck windshields. He's got boat wakes. <laughs> um, and then this one at first, dad bod, I, I first, I saw this and I saw the $9 price tag and I was like, oh, he made a mistake. That should be like nine cents. And then I realized it's new. It's new. So it, if I had just parted out a tipper truck or a vintage set that had that headlight brick, I wouldn't be charging nine cents for it. So that makes it actually made more sense. I thought that was a mistake uh, when I was laying in bed, but when I woke up this morning and looked at your store, I thought, oh, it's new. That's why it's that much. But this, this is what I want to see when I go to a store. I want the lots to be, if there's multiple lots, it's because you're separating between new and used or some other variation of condition. Like you could have a part that's a little worse condition, but you still feel comfortable selling it. But you should never have 50 lots of the same part in new or used for that matter. Oh, he also had four by 10 plates. And I don't know if you noticed, some of these things are in my shopping cart. And let's go over here to page two. And he had a tipper. You know that's in my cart. And he had the dually wheels. And I actually added some of the um, single wheels. I got a lot of these single wheels still. Maybe I should, I probably should just get all of them. Um, and they had the magnet at, at a reasonable price. Most people are, this magnet, train magnet has really gone up in price lately. 
and it's hard to find one for less than three or four dollars anymore. I know I'm scrolling through all this fast. And these are pieces or mini figures that I have. I've just lost them. So they're in my wanted list so that I can go check them off when I find them. Eventually, if I don't find them, I may end up going and buying them. But these are ones that I was piecing together. Well, sets that we had already built in the pieces melted away, as Joey from Brick Train says. <laughs> uh, but uh, this, okay, I was supposed to be talking about Brick, uh, Brick Barn store, and I've been focused on my wanted list, but actually, for me personally, that's, I always start with my wanted list in a store. I add parts, and then the next thing I do is go and look at all items, and I usually look at sets. And this this impressed me because he's got the collectible minifigures, but then he's got vintage sets, he's got Scala sets, and more Scala sets, and he's got uh, these. He's got vintage Legoland sets. So I thought that was pretty cool. Don't look at my cart. Don't look at my cart. And then um, he had Fabuland parts. I, I always look at the Fabuland parts. I, you know, I need that fishing rod. Um, I don't actually need it, but it's a fishing rod. Oh, he's got a camera. He's got a camera and he's got a rake. I better get the rake. Okay, I better add those. I actually don't know what Fabuland parts I need, but um, yeah. And so I used to always look at homemaker parts, but I don't. Oh, look, HO scale vehicles. I don't know which ones I have and which ones I don't have. I really should make a list. This is, I mean, this is vintage parts. And he says he's going to be adding more vintage parts and things like from the Samsonite era. This is such a wide variety. It's going to have parts for people like me who buy old stuff, but it's also going to have parts for people that like new stuff. And the other thing I look at always is train track. I don't have the train track in my wanted list because I never know how people are going to list it. Uh, but the blue tracks, blue straight tracks are what I'm always uh, looking for. And then sometimes I come down and look at the minifigures. Actually, I'm bad about looking at minifigures because I don't know what I need. <laughs> sometimes I buy things I already have, but he's got a ton of minifigures. Oh, let's see what series one he's got. <gasps> he's got Nacho. And um, series two, there's I think there's some of these that I'm actually missing, but I'm, well, actually, I'm pretty sure I got all those from these early series. It's like when series one came out, I I don't know why I didn't get into the hype of it then. So I never did complete series one. <laughs> but I, I did. I, saw, I bought Nacho Libre and I was done. You know. Um, OK. And then I also look at Fabuland figures. Um, this elephant down here, I couldn't remember if I had him or not, so I added that to my cart. And he has like tons of figures and gear. You know, gear is another thing I like to look at in stores because you never know what you're going to find. Uh, gear is such a wide range of stuff. And he has these pins that are in colors that nobody else has. And this is, if you wanted me to give you one piece of advice, and it's you don't have to do this, but as if these don't sell over time and you have the time, take a picture of them and upload the image because people have not most people will not have seen these these pins in this color. Yes, and you can that's one thing with sets, oh actually with anything, even with pieces, you can upload your own image um to Brickling. If you don't know how to do that. I'm sure there's a tutorial out there. Maybe I could do a tutorial. But yeah, if you add the image of that pin, it'll actually, I think, increase the chances of you're going to that you're going to sell it. And you may already be planning on doing that. But it'd be a lot of work, obviously, to add all those pins, a picture of the pins. Uh, you could take a shortcut and lay them all out and just take one picture and then crop it uh, for each picture. <laughs> And these pins here are uh, these are the uh, stock photos, I think. That's a good price on that minifigure magnet. It's a good price. Um, but these, th th I think he's got pins like this, but in different colors that are not often seen, and we really don't know where they came from. And then also look at instructions, and I was looking at mine, and I don't think I have this one. So I'm going to add that one too. All right. So overall, 
the store, you, for somebody who is starting out, this is, this is actually pretty amazing. And I will warn you of this. I, I could be totally wrong. I think when you open your store, you may get a lot of orders in the first few days. I'm, I'm guessing just by the sheer variety that you have and it's true variety, not bogus inflated variety of having a hundred of the same item in a hundred different lots. It's 12,000 items legit. It's 220,000 parts. That's such a, that's, I mean, do be prepared and don't, I mean, if you get overwhelmed with orders, it's okay. So one of the things I do in my store is I kind of limit having sets, especially sealed sets, box sets, because it becomes a problem shipping it and people are worried about condition and stuff, but use sets, used box sets, it's not as big a deal, but, you know, make sure you have the shipping materials you need for that. Uh, that's why I like pieces because most of the time it's going in either post office provided boxes the priority mailboxes or uh, the bubble mailers yeah so that just yeah i just just looking at how awesome your store is set up uh be be prepared uh, for that so it yeah well i'm back to my wanted list somehow he's got his terms set out i don't you know some people have like really 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 long terms i it's nobody reads them. And then the main thing is the thing he, he put um, $5 minimum. So that's completely legit or justified. I, I, some people will go with lower or no um, minimums. Um, that's all personal preference. I just, you know, if somebody buys and I literally, when I had no store limit, as far as the minimum order, I had multiple one penny orders. So literally I, I had somebody order a one by one trans clear plate. And it was like $3 and 15 cents to ship it. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a, I think I had a 75 cent fee because what's going to happen is I'm going to get charged all the fees for BrickLink and PayPal. And I would actually be negative with that. That's why there is a fee on store on orders at under a certain amount. But yeah, I don't know why. Why is somebody buying? You could find one of these on the street. I mean, you could go outside the Lego store and probably find one rolling around on the ground. Um, but yeah, I had people buy one piece worth one cent. Uh, but the the main thing is okay. Go back to Dad Bod's barn brick store. Five dollar um, minimum. And uh, the shipping was, um, hell, he's got insurance, but he has a flat rate ship. Oh, it's right up here at the top. I don't even know if this shows up on the screen, but yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, $5.95 shipping on all orders. I've actually thought of doing something like this, where it's like, no matter what they buy, this is what the shipping is going to be. I still have the tiered things based on the weight of the cart weight of the item. This is going to save you as far as like, even with the weights, there's certain items. I don't have the weight in my, my store. So then the shipping doesn't know what to do. And I still have to send them an invoice and things like that. And then for the calculations get kind of funky with the automated things that I use on BrickLink. And sometimes it'll say it's going in a certain box and it won't fit in the box. Like it'll say padded envelope, priority mail padded envelope and it won't there's no way these parts are going to fit in there i'm going to be putting them in a box and sometimes the box is cheaper than the padded envelope anyway uh, but if you got that 595 i think that's a good number because most orders the shipping will actually be less than that and for the ones that the shipping is more than five dollars and 95 cents um, hopefully the dollar amount will be okay but just keep in mind I, you're more central to the United States, I guess. <laughs> um, it it costs me a lot to ship to California, so it it would the thing I think where this would be a problem if the dollar amount of the items was like twenty bucks, but they were heavy items, like somebody bought all your boat weights or something, and then you're trying to ship it somewhere far away, and it costs twenty dollars to ship. <laughs> <laughs> which could happen it could happen uh but i mean 
yeah, I've talked uh, long enough about this. So um, you got an awesome store, and um, I'm I'm very impressed. I, if of all the people that have shown me, and I, no offense to anybody else that asked me to look at their store, I this is I was blown away uh, when I I looked at this, and I'm not just saying that. I literally what I fell off the bed in there i was like and i didn't go to bed and i said i was only going to look at it briefly and i i did look at it and then i went back and looked at it again and then i stayed up past midnight looking at your store and then i fell asleep and don't remember what i saw and then i woke up and looked at it again so uh good job <laughs> dad bye now i need to stop sh recording all right all right so now we're going to pick joseph cheese and the pies order and we're going to do shaky tray cam. I don't even have the, um, don't have it attached to anything securely, so this could could go badly. The first one is in drawer 1249. You got both of these little round pieces. Next drawer is 1371. Oh man, I need more lights down here. It is dark. Of course, I don't normally do Pablo. <laughs> Uh, so it's a little more challenging doing this in this situation. So now we're going to come over here to 2183, where I got to get my squats in. I got squat down here. 2183 is right there. You got 14 of these. Uh oh, so I drop them. <clears throat> Just a flesh wound. No big deal. Six, eight. Don't you love it when I count? Ten. 12, 14. There's 60 pieces on this order, so shouldn't be that difficult next drawer. Oh man, this is hard to see on my phone. <laughs> oh, no. oh my goodness. What was I thinking? Next drawer is 2357. 2357. Oh, it's way down here. Way down here. I'm, I'm, I'm on my hands and knees here. Uh oh, there went my camera. I knew that was going to happen. Bricks are quality is job one, right? <laughs> Oops. Okay, what's the next drawer? I need new glasses. I can buy new glasses. Next drawer, 3689. So I'm going to go around here. 3689. Get rid of this drawer here. 3689. Ah, here we go. A little more my height right here. We got five of these. Next drawer, 3812. Ah, it's up even higher. How many? Two of these. Right here. Next drawer, 4901. 4901. We got, uh oh, there we go again. We got both of those. Move this camera over here. Next drawer, 4965. Down here. One of those. Next drawer, 4967. We got one of those. Next drawer. Oh, this must be for like a locomotive. 49.78. We got two of these. Next drawer, 5201. Oh, Tight fit. 5201. Way up here. And he got 11 of these. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, what else do we got? We go to drawer eighty six ninety three. Got all of these little clear pieces. Oh, more, a train piece, box B45. It's in, oh, goodness, this is hard to do. Go like this. You got 
two of the oh, oh, big pieces. I'm gonna set these on the table. These are noses from this uh, one of the ICE style trains. All right, the next is C27. Which is oh, uh, two of these. Oh, got those already in bags to protect them. Uh, I'm gonna go put that back. We got box K19, not K9. Nineteen. These get even tricky. This is hard to do while holding the tray and trying not to knock the camera over. K nineteen. Uh, a Duplo base plate. He got some Duplo parts. Uh, what is next? I set my phone down. <laughs> I set it down. Box N3, we need one of those. Actually, it's the whole box. N3, because there's only one part in it. Oh, wouldn't it be at the bottom? Oh, oh we're a spider web. Uh oh, I did it again. N3 had this Duplo piece in it. Then we got gray C5, gray C, <laughs> gray C5, crack, some duplo cracks, and then PM and PM and four and four, four, one, two, three, four. I got that. Four and five. Got two of these. And then six and twelve. Six. You got these. I need to put something in those drawers. So that is Joseph Cheese in the Pies order. Mallow. 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 <laughs>